Please do not adjust your television. The following program is brought to you in beautiful black and white. Good Sunday morning to all you cowpokes, and Happy New Year 1949. Your weather forecast for January 2nd calls for partly cloudy skies, with highs in the 30s, and the possibility of some snow flurries in the mountains. Safe travels, partners. On Sunday afternoon, January 2nd, 1949, an unexpected Arctic cold front swept down from Canada and collided with heavy, moisture-laden air from the south. A massive multi-state winter weather event was born. Portions of Colorado, Nebraska, Wyoming, and the Dakotas were pummeled by heavy snow, unrelenting winds, and sub-zero temperatures. The blizzard didn't let up until the following Wednesday, but this was just the beginning. Like the Dust Bowl storms of the 30s, with their ominous walls of black clouds, the 1949 blizzards raged white for nearly two months. The winds seldom ceased their incessant howl. Temperatures bottomed out the mercury in thermometers. Although much of Wyoming was blasted by the storm, it was the state's eastern and southeastern counties that took the brunt of the beating. Wind gusts of over 80 miles per hour in some places created drifts 20 to 30 feet high, yet left the ground completely bare in other areas. The storm blanketed 3,300 miles of Wyoming roads. All auto, bus, rail, and air traffic came to a halt. Thousands of travelers were stranded. Ranches, farms, and entire communities became islands in a sea of white. Livestock and wildlife suffered and died. Seventeen people in Wyoming perished. It was the worst sustained winter weather event the Upper Plain states have ever experienced. Dubbed the Great White Death and the Storm of the Century, this was the blizzard of 1949. No, January 1st, 1949 was a nice day, and uh, really, for winter time, it was a very nice day. And so was the early part of January 2nd. Uh, I lived just 50 miles east of Cheyenne, and uh, about four o'clock in the afternoon is when the wind came up and the snow started falling, and we didn't see sunshine until the morning of the 5th of January. I think that was one of the more extraordinary things about the blizzard of 1949 was that it uh, started unexpectedly. It brought with it uh, high winds and deep snow and it lasted much, much longer than most uh, winter storms. And so, so it goes down in Wyoming history as one of those once in a generation or once in a century events because it uh, combined all of those qualities of surprise and uh, furiosity that come with uh, blizzards. Uh, it caught people by surprise. Even the U.S. Weather Bureau experts didn't see it coming. They were predicting possible snow flurries. In 1949, weather reports simply weren't as accurate as they are today. Satellites and Doppler radar, computer models, and other high-tech tools simply didn't exist. 1949 weather forecasting was very simple in comparison to what we do today. Uh, they would likely have a staff of about four to six people that were taking observations, weather observations at um, specific sites across the country. They were using those observations to get some sort of an idea of what the prediction and what the weather would be going forward. Uh, but you can see here on, on the first, you start to see this deep trough of low pressure developing across the, uh, the northern Rocky Mountain states. Uh, we'll continue forward in time and you can see it really takes shape and deepens across the four corners um, into the day on Monday and this would be about when the conditions were were the worst. Move forward into Tuesday, surf you see this big low pressure still really close to the area even 48 and 60 hours later um, into the day on Tuesday January 4th. It moves up into the into the central plains by late on the 4th 
Uh, and that's when we start to see conditions improve in eastern and southeast Wyoming. Because of bitter cold temperatures, the quality of the snow was unusual during the blizzard of 49. It was a funny snow, a real small, granulated, hard, uh, wasn't any flakes to it, much more like, uh, well, it was uh, kind of like salt. <laughs> that snow was so hard. It, it was like cement. In fact, some places, I understand, they had to blast it out because it, it was so hard. 